OK, so Bournemouth, they've got a new manager from what they started with at the start of the season, Gary O'Neill. Uh, but Bournemouth are at plus 250. Leicester are at plus 110. Leicester scored four this week and kept a clean sheet and showed green shoots of Leicester being like the old Leicester. Very confident, very attacking. And I tell you what, that plus 110 is uh, either a trap or it's a gift. And I'm happy to go with the latter. Over two and a half goals is at minus 120. The draw is at plus 260. Marco here, I'm coming to you. I like the away side. But Bournemouth have been a little bit stingy at home, apart from when they hosted Arsenal. Yeah, they have. Um, they held Brentford last weekend to a nil-nil. They are unbeaten under, under Gary O'Neill, uh, but that was a second nil-nil. We had that mad 3-2 win, and they came from behind to win at Forest, and, and a 1-1 draw at Newcastle as well. And you know, scoreboard journalism will say things are going pretty well. They're somehow one point behind Liverpool at this stage, which is crazy, really. But... Um, I haven't changed my opinion on them. I still think they're the worst team in the division. That They'll look to pack the midfield, defend deep and limit the clear-cut opportunities they give away. But in those four games under O'Neill, they've conceded 59 shots. Um, true, the average expected goal per shot has decreased quite dramatically from Scott Parker's reign, but the the, the, op the opposition or, or the standard of opposition has been pretty average by Premier League standards. And Bournemouth have continued to offer little, if anything, up front, really. And, you know, they're yet to record an expected goals tally greater than one since promotion. Their average XG from open play this season is 0.27 per game, which is below dreadful. Uh, and they're currently at the rock bottom of the expected points table by quite some distance, failing to score five times. And yet somehow they've managed to keep their sheets clean on, on three occasions um, at home so far this season. So my head kind of hurt trying to analyse them because I was like, I can't really work this team out. They're atrocious going forward, but they seem to be getting results somehow, some way. So, yeah, I wanted to be pro Leicester. Um, I wasn't really sure how to go about it. Um, on Tuesday, I looked at the prices. We can get plus 100 on Leicester to score over one and a half goals, which for me felt like the, the best way into this game. But that price has, has been clipped now. It's minus money. And I think just Bournemouth being Bournemouth has, has kind of just immediately turned me off. Um backing a minus price involved in this game. So I've left it alone, but if you do want to go ahead and back it, Leicester have scored twice or more in five of their eight Premier League games this season. They've scored twice or more in three of their four away days at Arsenal, Spurs and Brighton. And they really could and should have scored at least two goals away at Chelsea as well. As you say, they'll be much more confident after that win against Forest on Monday. Uh, they have been quite clinical compared to the chances that they've created. Um, they are second bottom in terms of shots in the box attempted. Bournemouth obviously being bottom of that list as well. So, um, yeah, there's enough warning signs that I think if I did get involved at minus money and it didn't come off, I kind of ruined it myself. So I've decided to just kind of leave it alone. But um, I'm quite happy to sort of cheer you guys on because I know you've got two different bets from different angles, which uh, I can certainly get behind. Yeah, I was impressed with Leicester the other night, not just because they were playing like dead wood in, in Forest, but because they went and scored four, could have scored eight. Looked very, very good, Stinch. Uh, I like the plus 110. Not going to complicate it. I think they scored two, so you can go for the minus 105. They scored two. Surely they win. Yeah, I've got a few bets written down here, and I was trying to work out which ones are the best to go for. I mean, obviously, when Leicester involved, you immediately look at the goal line. I'm quite happy to get involved with the goal line over two and a half. I think, you know, if you have to start being creative when that goal line set at three, for example. We we did that last week when we, when we backed Leicester and for us to be over 2.5 and both teams to score, I think we were a little bit unlucky on, on that occasion. The other one I had written down was, yeah, the Leicester team total, because I'm just not sure I can trust them at, at the opposite end of the pitch. I mean, it's uh, already conceded 22 goals in eight games, and, and away from home, there's a, there's a definite sieve effect going on. Just one clean sheet in the last 30 away games. So I wouldn't want to trust them at the, the plus 110, but I would would, wouldn't be too unhappy at backing them at, at minus 105 to score over 1.5 goals. So yeah, I, I, in the end, I settled on the over two and a half as as the as the best bet. Um, we know regularly that their their matches contain lots of goals. 15 of the last 20 have seen over two and a half goals, and away from home, that's 18 of the last 25. But yeah, you have to be worried about obviously Bournemouth whether they're going to contribute to the to the scoreline. But I think yeah. that's the beauty of backing overs in Leicester games. They're capable of doing it themselves, as we saw on Monday night, but they're also capable of of, uh, of conceding tons of goals. They actually went to Bournemouth a couple of years ago when Bournemouth got relegated and shipped four. So I think that's the beauty of getting involved with overs and not worrying about whether both teams do score. 
Uh, but Bournemouth have only scored six in their in their eight matches. Um, they're only managing 6.4 shots per game, which is by far the lowest in the division. The, the next lowest is Fulham with 10.5. So you can see how far they are off just the second worst team. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think with the, with the line set as, as set as it is, I don't think you want to be be taking under. So I'm happy to take overs. And and yeah, I wanted to try and get Leicester on side somehow. So I've kind of been a bit greedy and you know kind of take almost combined them them winning and, and them scoring two goals for for a much juicier price. I've gone for James Madison to score at plus three hundred. He, he's been the one sort of shining light, I would say, it, that from them in, in a consistent basis this season. He's got nine goals in his last 11 games, 16 in the last 27 overall. And you know, you're coming up against the, the third worst defence in the division that's shipped 19 goals in, in their eight games. And they're conceding Bournemouth 16 shots per game. And, and Madison himself is averaging at well over three a match. And he gets himself some some good positions. Uh, Mark mentioned about their their shots in the box being low, but Madison himself is averaging over one shot per game in the penalty area. So he is he is getting himself into good positions, and his finishing is just superb. So yeah, two two bets for me here: overs and Madison to score any time. Yeah, and you've got to follow the likes of Madison. Obviously, whenever there's a World Cup, there's always one or two players who absolutely shine. Maybe six weeks, and they're the late ones to get on the plane. I like, I like the fact they've got goals in them, Leicester, home or away. And it's the first time this season I've actually said, OK, there's maybe now you've got off the bottom of the league. You can now start to climb upwards. And if you could pick one side to travel to, it would be Bournemouth. Let's have a little look at the official picks because I know that I've gone to the Leicester money line, not complicating it, at plus 110. Over two and a half goals at minus 120 for Stinch. And Madison to score at any time at plus 300. Remember, he's deadly around the edge of the box on free kicks. And also, he doesn't mind pulling the trigger so he can bring in a little deflection. But we're pro Leicester, and uh, over two and a half is at minus 120. 